it is a big change. This is only a um, sort of a revised or um, a draft schedule at the moment. It is obviously subject to change. It could change during the event. It could change um, up into the races. Um, but yeah, we've taken out the Saturday and that's through conversations with teams, riders, marshals association. It gives the time for everybody to set up and um, for the event to unfold um, quite nicely onto the Sunday um, afternoon. Um, but more importantly, it doesn't mean that the TT schedule is going to be a day shorter. If anything, it's it's going to continue to start on the Saturday, but we're going to put entertainment on to make sure people just get into the, the the week or the the weeks long of practice. It is a bigger, if uh, weather permits, of course, uh, it is a bigger, longer first practice session than you would have got on the Saturday evening. Absolutely, it's taken full advantage of the the light and um, the, the hopefully the good weather and um, taking into account um, public views with regard to church um, going and access to properties and everything else. So we're proposing to close all the course by one o'clock on the Sunday and hopefully practice till 6.30. But it, it's obviously that's subject to change depending on weather, etc. The rest of the week, pretty much the same, except Friday, you then have an afternoon as opposed to evening practice session. Yeah, and again, that's taken full advantage of them, the, the sort of good light given the the riders the best conditions we possibly can to, to put those laps in obviously taken into account last year's terrible weather um so i'm hoping that by doing that the actual riders get the track time they need and then we should also add at that point the contingencies that there is the contingency for a thursday day session and also a friday evening session if uh, if things have gone a bit like they were this year uh, when you would have needed it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's it's about maximising the track time for the riders, but also trying to minimise the inconvenience put on the Marshals Association and the army of volunteers that make these events possible. Now, the three uh, race days, uh, the timings there are pretty much uh, as they were, but the, the aim is just to have two races as a maximum during the day. But Ahead of that, you're having a, a solos warm-up lap, and at the end, you're going to have a sidecar uh, practice lap on some of the days as well. Absolutely. It, it Again, it's about minimising um, the disruption to the Marshals Association because I was conscious, and I think the team were conscious, that we had a lot of long days last year, you know, 13, 14 hours, and we ask far too much of them at times. So this is about reinventing that schedule to fit in with them to say we're hopefully only going to have two races during the day. We're going to have a very clear practice session, which is announced well in advance. And I think by doing that, it will um, give us a clear steer, you know, from regards with regards to the volunteers that we call upon to help us run these events. Do you think uh, that this uh, is going to take, I mean, there can be long days because of the weather, but I think some of the objections are uh, that they're waiting around for a while because there's a parade or there's something else on apart from racing. So it's really concentrating on the racing, is that fair to Ab say? Absolutely. The, the racing takes priority. Yes, you know, in the past there's been parade laps and I think a lot of people have just, um, I think if we're going to have parade laps, then they've got to be... Um, for a purpose, for a reason. Um, and I think we've listened to those concerns. This is about focusing on the racing, but also focusing on the marshals, the volunteers, trying to get the balance right. And you're absolutely right. If the weather isn't with us, then the days can be long still. But if the weather's in our favour, then we can certainly have a very clear understanding of what people can expect or the time commitments that they need to put in to help us run these events. And... Entertainment's going to be announced at the uh, Motorcycle Live event in Birmingham in November. Absolutely. So I'm not going to give anything away this afternoon, but we're I'm always... Sure a few team announcements and everything else yeah, usually flow at that time as well. There is a lot of announcements to be made between now and going into the new year. Um, this is just the first one to say this is what our, our schedule hopefully will look like. Um, the next ones will be the announcements of teams and riders and along with the entertainment because this is a two-week event and we want to make sure that anyone coming, regardless if they come on the Saturday, they'll still be well looked after, receive a warm welcome, but also there's plenty to do when they arrive. The racing, as I say, the practice starts on the Sunday, but that gives the teams enough time just to settle in and also gives us the maximum amount of practice that we can fit in without interruption too much on locals and with regard to access to properties and, and churches, etc. 
just to finish, you, you said it's provisional. And uh, uh, do infrastructure need to rubber stamp this? Well, it always has to be rubber stamped through um, other government departments. That's why I use the word provisional. Hopefully, um, we've already had conversations with them, so we don't see any problems. But there may be, as I say, because we're now looking to put in place firmly a practice session on a Sunday, we may get a response to say the general public don't want um, the Sunday practice um, session and they would prefer to keep the Saturday night. If that is the feedback we get, um, we receive from the general public, then we may have to reconsider that session. But we think, taking into account all the factors, having a session in the Sunday afternoon is the best for everyone involved.